Hello and welcome. This lesson gives you a brief overview of what SQLite is. It covers what is SQLite and why and when to use it, as well as SQLite's distinctive features, limitations, and unsupported features. SQLite is an open source relational database management system designed around 2000. The light in SQLite means lightweight in terms of setup, database administration, and the required resources to run it. The following are the noticeable features of SQLite. Self-contained, serverless, zero configuration, and transactional. SQLite is self-contained, which means that it requires minimum support from the operating system or an external library. This makes SQLite usable in many environments, especially in mobile devices like Android phones, iPhones, game consoles, etc. SQLite is serverless. This means that it does not require the client-server architecture to operate. It is an in-memory library that you can call and use directly. SQLite database is integrated with the application that accesses the database. The applications interact with the SQLite database by reading and writing directly to the database files stored on disk. SQLite requires zero configuration. Because SQLite is serverless, you do not need to install SQLite before using it. Therefore, there is no server process that needs to be configured, started, and stopped. In addition to this, SQLite does not use any configuration files. Lastly, SQLite is transactional. All transactions in SQLite are fully ACID compliant. This means that all queries and changes are atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. In other words, or in layman's terms, all changes within a transaction take place 100% completely or not at all even when in an unexpected situation like an application crash, power failure, or operating system failure or crash occurs. Why use SQLite? First and foremost, it is free. SQLite is open source, therefore there are no commercial licenses required to work with it. SQLite is a cross-platform database management system. It can be used on a broad range of platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Unix. It can also be used on a lot of embedded operating systems like Symbian, Windows CE, and Android. SQLite offers an efficient way of storing data. The length of the columns is variable and is not fixed. So SQLite will only allocate space that a field needs. For example, if you have a varchar 200 column and you put a 10 characters length value on it, then SQLite will only allocate 10 character space for that value and not the whole 200 space. A broad range of SQLite APIs. SQLite provides APIs for a broad range of programming languages. For example, .NET languages, that is Visual Basic, C Sharp, PHP, Java, Objective-C, Python, and a lot of other programming languages. SQLite is very flexible. SQLite variables are dynamically typed meaning that the type of the variable is not determined until it is assigned a value and not defined at the time of declaration. Insert on conflict replace statement. With this statement, you can tell SQLite to try to do an insert on a table and if it found rows with the same primary keys, then update them with the values from the inserted values. With SQLite, you can work with multiple databases on the same session at the same time. Just attach those databases and then you can access all the databases objects, that is, tables, views, etc. at the same time. We are now just going to talk briefly on when to use SQLite. As mentioned earlier, if you are developing embedded software for devices like televisions, mobile phones, home electronic devices, etc., SQLite is a good choice. SQLite can manage complex session information for a website and handle low to medium traffic HTTP requests. When you need a database system, for learning and training purposes. SQLite is a good fit. No installation or configuration required. Just copy the SQLite libraries on your computer and you are ready to go. When you need to store an archive of files, SQLite can produce smaller size archives and with lesser metadata included than regular zip archives. SQLite limitations and unsupported features. The following are the list of unsupported features and limitations in SQLite. Write out a join and full outer join, outer table statement, views, grant and revoke commands, triggers. SQLite supports 
neither right outer join nor full outer join. It only supports the left outer join. Limitations in outer table statement. With the outer table statement in SQLite, you can only add a column or rename a table. We will see this in the following tutorials. However, you can do the following. Outer a column, drop a column, add a constraint. Views are read only. You can write, insert, delete, or update statements into the view. However, you can create a trigger on a view and do the insert, delete, or update statements into it. Grant and revoke commands are not implemented in SQLite. There are only normal file access permissions implemented in SQLite. This is because SQLite reads and writes to the disk files, unlike other database management systems. Triggers. As we will see in the upcoming tutorials, SQLite only supports for each row triggers, and it doesn't support for each statement triggers. Recap. This lesson gave us an overview of what SQLite is. It covered why and when to use SQLite, as well as its distinctive features, limitations, and unsupported features.